Hello and welcome to your 14th Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.2.5. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, in the last tutorial I talked to you guys about how to fix that annoying bug we were having where our tool would not break stone. Um, and that wasn't really much of a tutorial, but I didn't have a whole lot of time at the time, and that was something a lot of people asked me about, and I had just found out from one of you guys. So, in this tutorial, um, so that we can do a furnace tutorial next time, I want to talk to you guys about how to create a block that has a different texture on different sides. So I'm going to be using a texture from my Underground Bunkers mod, um, which is this one, the bunker light.png, and that's not the right one. Um, so it's this little um, uh, texture here. Sorry, I couldn't think of the right word. Um, and we're just going to do it with our tutorial block here because we always mess around with it. And really, this is pretty easy. It's just one simple little method. Um, and that is public void get block texture from side. And it is, let's see, int par1, I believe. And that's not right. Okay, and let's do return zero. Okay, there we go. So, yes, that is the correct method. I always forget what parameters should go in it and the return type. But, so the method you need to type is public int git block texture from side int par one. Um, and delete this return zero, pretty much. Um, that was just so that I could test to make sure it was overriding the block method, which is get block texture from side. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into mod tutorial, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to go up here and I'm just going to create public static int um, tutorial block top. And what this is going to do is it's going to store our, um, the data for the texture of the tutorial block top. And I'm having difficulties. Normally what I would do is I'd take this and I would put it in here. So it would be public static tutorial block top. Oh, public static int. Um, but whenever I would try to call it in this, so um, let's see, what is our declaration? Okay, whenever I would try to call it in this, which would be mod loader dot add override and then tutorial block dot um, to see it's not for some reason recognizing that this here is part of tutorial block and I'm not sure what the issue is there um, I've done it before but it's just not working here um, and I'm noticing we don't have an override for the actual hmm that's weird. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that. Tutorial block dot um, block index in texture. And then, oh wait. Do, 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 do. Never mind. Um, it's actually tutorial, if I can type, block dot block index in texture equals mod loader dot add override and this is terrain dot png 
and um, what was it? Purpureum or dot png, and I think I capitalized that. Um, I'm a bit out of it today. If this tutorial is a bit odd, by the way, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Um, and it's still giving us this error. So I'm not really sure what happens here. If I do block dot, and then see it's not there. Um, and it always gives me an error if I type the whole thing out by hand. So I'm not really sure what's going on here, but that is why I am not, um, that's why I'm not doing that method. But this should work too. So now we have to go in here. Oh, wait. No, I'm not done here. Then just do tutorial block top equals mod loader. Oh, sorry. Dot add override. And I just realized something. Okay. Um, terrain dot png and let's go ahead and put a forward slash there and we want bunker light dot png okay so now what we want to do is go into this method the block texture from side and we want to put in an if statement so if par1 equal equal 1 um, and I actually at time of this recording forget what each side is I believe part I believe actually let's set this to 0 it starts from 0 and ends at 5 or starts from 1 and start and ends at 6 um, and that corresponds to the different sides of the block but I'm not really sure what side of the block we need, or um, not, not which side of the block we need, what side of the block corresponds to what number. So that's something that you'll really just have to test out. I believe zero is the top or the bottom, which is why I'm doing that. So then we just want return um, mod tutorial dot Ah, I can't type dot tutorial block top. Okay, then let's just put else um, return block index in texture. So what this is basically saying is search through all of the sides on our block and if you get side zero, then make it the tutorial block top texture otherwise make it the normal texture. So let's go ahead and test it out and again I'm not really sure what number corresponds to what side of the block so I'm just going to go into the creative mode world and oh crud what what was the recipe that was stupid of me what was the recipe for our tutorial block let me just check that out um, tutorial block, dirt, just a bunch of dirt. I should have remembered that. Okay, so here's our tutorial block, and if we put this down, there we go. So zero is the bottom, um, and you'll see that we have our normal texture and then the bottom texture. So if we were to change it to say, um, if bar one equal equal one, then it is the top. So there you go. And so then that means that two through five are all, or two through six are all um, the side textures. So there you go, that is the end of this tutorial, um, and I hope this was helpful. It's not really a skill you need, 
um, for modding, but it's definitely useful aesthetics-wise, and it's good for what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial, which is adding a new furnace. Um, so thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!